Hey, what's up guys? Heading to San Antonio to be doing some stuff over there. But I haven't seen you guys in a while or you haven't seen me in a while. Just been in a lot of meetings, a lot of things that were really couldn't make the editing cut because they were private information and all that kind of stuff. So tonight, got a big presentation. And then tomorrow, I have about a four, four and a half hour training that I'm gonna be doing. They have a lot of momentum there already, but get them there, even more momentum. And I think one of the things that's important, a lot of sports teams do this. You know, when I played, you know, sports from junior high, high school, college, is when you wanna go faster, when you want to get things going better or improve or better your best, you could say, right? When you wanna better your best, you look at the basics, you go back to the basics, what got you here, how do we do more of that, how do we perfect that, how do we get more consistent with that, how do we get better at articulating that, and I think that's really important. So what this training is this weekend that I'm doing, it's only, it's like four, four and a half hours, but it's basic, basic stuff, not a bunch of like, you know, advanced techniques or whatever, because you can get lost in that, and a lot of people, they, they get a little bored with the basics and success sometimes is boring is monotonous because you're doing the same things that work over and over and over again and sometimes I I tell people we get paid a lot of money to be a broken record and people are always searching for that that new thing or whatever there's in my line of business in building teams in you know growing teams exponentially is there's only a few success principles there's not you know, the gimmick of the week, uh, although there's a lot of people out there on, on Facebook and the internet and Instagram selling the gimmick of the week, selling the seven step process or the new this or the new that. And guess what? There is nothing new. It's, are you doing it in today's language? You know, be yourself too. And are you doing it consistent enough? And do you care about people? You know, I think that there's so many people that they want to be successful in, in the people business and they don't care about people they want to make the money but guess where the money's at it's in their wallets it's in their bank account okay so you need to care about people and you need to help them get what they want and you'll have what you want like the whole uh, Zig Ziglar thing right so if you're digging blitz mentality you know share this with your friends subscribe so every time I make an update you get the update instantly and uh, I'll see you guys here in a little bit mental focus little supplements get geared up for the training whole foods is the way <laughs> So who really built Facebook? We did. We did. You did. With your pictures, your face. <laughs> Facebook, right? Does Facebook produce any content? No. We do. Do they produce any video? No. We do. Okay, that's called a platform. Facebook is a platform. Amazon is a platform. Platform businesses are gobbling up pipeline businesses. Yeah. The extra mile is not crowded. <laughs> right? The mountaintop is smaller so they don't fit everybody. You know what I'm right. saying? Like What's up, dude? <laughs> Here we go, it's time to make the donuts. That's what they say. We're not actually making donuts, but donuts is the equivalent to money at this point, right? Knowledge, training, that's what we're doing. The investment that you know you can get the best return on is the investment you make in yourself, right? Yep. And that's what you're doing this morning. And so we're birds, we're birds of a feather, and so we're flocking together yeah. this morning. Oh, so the year I left TCU, they won a bowl game. <laughs> 
So is Jefferson Santos a bad luck charm? <laughs> or, or is he a foundation builder? Hey. Hey, a lot, a, a lot of your leadership is kind of determined on maybe when you leave, what happens afterwards? What did you set in place, right? It's a simple little tool. We just took a few minutes to think about the past. What are we excited about the past? What are we excited about right now? And then where we're going, right? And this is something that you need to do every 90 days, okay? Just set that on your calendar because life, life changes in 90 days, right? And you can make course corrections in 90 days, you know? And I think it's really, really powerful. Actually take three things from today and apply them, just three. Don't try to apply everything. I mean, I get excited after a training and I try to apply everything. And that's not, that's not a winning formula. Apply three things, then once you do those things, try another three and just keep on doing that. So once again, like Jim Rohn talks about, there's not 101 success principles, there's just a few. There's three skills. You gotta learn how to make it, you gotta learn how to keep it, then you gotta learn how to make it grow, okay? Some of us are still in skill one right now. And when I first made my, my, my first couple mil, I blew through because I never had money. So it's kind of like, hey, you know, it's, I'm used to not having much, so I'll just blow it. It's like subconsciously you just live paycheck to paycheck no matter how much you make. And that's what happens unless you learn these skills. Language will either limit you or position you. You need to smile all the time so you become approachable. We have to become approachable. We can't have the airport walk. You know, I got to get to my flight. You know, that, that's, not, that's not the approachable part. We got to be smiling, right? And you have to practice yourself to smile a lot more. So when you go into work, you're smiling. And people are like, your, your coworkers are like, why are you smiling all the time? You're smiling more. What's going on? You know? And so that's where it opens up doors. Okay? And so that's why it's important to always smile. And because obviously frowning isn't going to get you there. Okay? Because that's easy. Frowning is very easy, isn't it? Okay? People do business with, they know, with people that they know, like, and trust. Right? You've heard that before. It's been an amazing day. I just really, really appreciate uh, y'all's love, y'all's caring, y'all's energy. It's been uh, really, really amazing today, guys. Thank you.